What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 3.3 of the tutorial series on AWS Cloud Formation. So guys, in this tutorial, we will go through one of the intrinsic functions that is get attribute function. So basically the intrinsic function get attribute returns the value of an attribute or property of a defined resource within the template. So guys, while using get attribute function, we need to make sure that we pass the valid property for a given resource, else it will throw an exception. So now let's try to understand it with an example. So as you can see on my screen, I have this template and we are going to use this template throughout this tutorial. But before we go through this template, let's have a look at the syntax of the get attribute function. So again, there are two ways to define or use the get attribute function. So first one is fn colon colon get attribute followed by a list or square braces, which basically accepts two parameters. So the first parameter is logical name of resource. And the second parameter is itself the attribute name that you want to fetch. So a tree build name, correct. And the another way to use or define the get attribute function is the short of this that is exclamation get ADD that is attribute space followed by a logical name of the resource copy paste dot attribute name. Correct. So these are the two ways uh, to define or use the get attribute function. So we will be using the second one that is the short right? That is exclamation get attribute followed by a logical name of resource dot attribute name. So that's the syntax. Let me comment this now. So here within this template, what we are doing is we are simply creating the EC2 instance. So the very first thing that we have on line number four is parameters. Now here uh, we are asking user to select the instance type from t2.micro, t2.small and t2.large. Right. And then on line number 16, we have resources where we have defined instance. And here we are actually creating the instance where we have instance type and image ID as well as the tags. And then uh, we are creating a new volume to attach to that EC2 instance. So that's the reason we have type is AWS EC2 volume. And we want to set the size of that volume to 100. And then in order to create the volume, we also need to know the availability zone of the instance, right? So that's the reason on line number 30, we have defined availability zone and to get the availability zone, we are using get attribute function that is get attribute of which resource that is the instance resource that we have defined on line number 17 and which attribute that we want to use or call. So that's basically the availability zone. Right. So that's where we are uh, fetching the availability zone attribute from the instance as a logical resource using get attribute function. Right. Now, once we have the new volume, we need to mount that volume to the EC2 instance. So that's where we have defined a logical resource that is mount point on line number 33. And the type is EC2 volume attachment. Right. And within that we have to pass in the instance ID to which we want to attach the volume and the volume ID that we will get from the line number 26, right? And the device path. So that's basically the EC2 instance and the new volume and its attachment or the mount point. And then on line number 42, we have outputs where we are outputting the instance name and the DNS name. So here again within DNS name, we are using the get attribute function, which is followed by the logical name of the resource that is instance followed by the attribute name that is public DNS name. So this was the overview of the template that we are going to create or, or, or we are going to deploy, right? But uh, now the question might arise that how we can know that which attribute is supported for a given resource, right? So for that, we need to navigate to this URL that is AWS resource and property type reference, right? So over here you will get all the supported attributes for a given resource. So for example, let's have a look at the EC2 instance. So let me search for EC2 instance. So here we are. So that's EC2, right? And what was the type that we have used? So that's basically AWS EC2 instance. So let me copy this 
and search for that over here. So here it is. Now I will click on this. Now here I will just look for the return. So here we have the return values and here you will be able to see the function get attribute uh, properties or the attribute name that are basically supported for the AWS EC2 instance, right? So that's availability zone, private DNS name, private IP, public DNS name and the public IP, right? So these are the attributes uh, that you can call or you can fetch the value for within the cloud formation template. So this might change from time to time. So you might want to visit this URL and have a look. So similarly, uh, for all the resources, uh, you will find the written values and the function get attribute within that. So in case if you don't find the function get attribute uh, for a certain resource, then it means that uh, none of the attribute is supported yet, right? So this is how you can find the attribute values that you can opt out for or that you can call, right? So now we are done with the overview of the template. Now we are good to navigate to AWS Cloud Formation Service. And once you are there, click on create stack. Say template is ready, upload a template file. I will say choose a file. And here I will say ec2 underscore get add.yaml. Say open. Say next. Give a stack name. I will say ec2 get attribute. I will set it to .micro in the instance type parameter, say next. Next again and say create stack. Now the stack has been created, let's wait. Now as you can see the stack creation is completed. Now we will navigate to outputs first. So here we will be able to see the DNS name and here is the DNS name of the given EC2 instance. Correct, so that is coming from the get attribute of instance.publicdns name and that's where we are able to see the DNS name. And now we will navigate to resources and maybe we will click on this instance ID. So here uh, I just wanted to show you the attribute and the successful attachment of the new volume. So I will navigate to resource and as you can see here we have the 100 uh, gigabytes of uh, the volume that is being attached to this instance, correct? And the requirement for that in order to create the new volume and attach it to the uh, EC2 instance. So that's the availability zone that we have fetched using the get attribute function. Correct, so guys, uh, this is how you can use the get attribute function. And basically I'd also uh, taken you through that how you can find the uh, available attribute values that you can use within the AWS uh, Cloud Formation template. So guys, uh, that's it for now. And as usual, if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below and I will try my best to come up with a tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then again, please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.